Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Here is a sneak peek to our spring 24 living room makeover. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I am so happy to be sharing this video with you guys. It has been a video that I've wanted to put out for a while. We recently did a uh, coffee table styling um, video where we did a bunch of different options. I believe the six or seven options that I brought you guys um, with totally different um, variations of styling, new and old items for spring. So I had to look back at the video to make sure that the items that I'm pulling and it's going to be in this video is not the same as we did in that video because I want to give you guys like another option. So I am going to share all of the items that I pulled to be able to do this amazing makeover. So I hope that you guys are, you know, sitting back, relaxing and enjoying this video. So we are gonna get started. I'm just going to pull the first um, items, which is curtains. Now I had mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to change up the curtains in this room for spring, summer. So I went to Home Goods and I found some amazing Ralph Lauren um, 96 inch curtains. And here they are. These are beautiful. They are $69.99. And as you know, the longer that you get in lengths, um, the price uh, tends to go up. So I'm just going to come in closer so that you guys can see. These are blackout curtains. So they do have a liner and they are like a linen-y um, fabric. And I absolutely love them. I'm just looking here for the content. It's 95% polyester, 5% linen. So we do have that nice textural look inside of the curtains. So we are going to be taking down the curtains that we have up and we're gonna be hanging all of these curtains. I have three windows in this room and a door. So we always make sure that we put the same curtains on the door as we do on the windows. So this is going to be one of the first things that we're going to put up so that they can relax and then I can steam them. So next up, we're going to continue with textiles. So I have this throw that I picked up um, a couple of weeks ago. I actually shared it in my bedroom makeover. It's a Portugal throw. It's more of like a gauzy um, fabric. It's 100% cotton, and I think I'm going to use this on the small sofa that we have underneath the window. We're going to style with this. And then the other throw, because I usually have at least two to three throws um, in the living room. So we're going to use this um, sort of like a gray, has like little bobbles on it, tassel. This is an older um, throw, I actually picked it up years ago at Pier 1. So it'll be this option and this one that we're gonna work here into the living room. So next up is going to be a bowl. Now, I love this wooden bowl um, that I've styled several times um, throughout my home and it has little feet. So I might either use this one or I might use this white. Um, this was McGee & Co. I purchased it on her site um, during the Christmas season. So it has a spot for candles, but I think I'm just gonna use it as a catch-all bowl. So it's probably gonna be either or of these, or I might do this one on the console back there and this one on the ottoman. So you'll see how, how um, I style them and which one makes it into the room. So the next thing is going to be candlesticks. So I definitely know that I'm going to work these two brass candlesticks into the room. Um, I shared these uh, in the last video, which was the styling here. It was a new find um, from Home Goods that I picked up. Um, the smaller one was $7.99. 
and the larger one was $9.99 and I absolutely love them. I like the fluted detail. I like how it has a separate inset for the candles and I just love it here. So as you see, I already had left it here from that last video. So we are going to be reusing those two items. I also pulled two other candlesticks. Um, this one is a wooden one. Um, I picked both of these up during the Christmas season on clearance at HomeSense. So I love both of these. I took the tags off, but I have shared them previously um, in a, in a, a haul video. Um, again, they were on clearance, so they're not currently in the store right now. So I just pulled these two individual ones out. I think I might use either one of these to flank the fireplace or I might add it um, behind the sofa in the console. So it'll be either one of these options. Now, while we're on um, candle holders, I also have this little candle holder that I picked up a while ago at Kohl's. This is amazing. It's a ceramic, actually it's a stoneware um, ceramic uh, candle holder. So I love it. I love how petite it is. I love the fluting. It just adds in a little additional character. Um, I think that I'm going to style this possibly on the ottoman. If not here, then I'll find a spot for it throughout the room, but I definitely want to use this. And then I picked up these Red Leaf Home um, Cotton Wick smokeless, dripless luxury tapers that I got recently at Home Goods. I have been looking all over the place for this like little peachy, blushy color. And also the fact that they're saying that it is smokeless and dripless. I really wanna try these out. I want to be able to see um, what the burn time is like and how they illuminate in the space. So we're gonna try these out. And these were for $7.99 and it's a pack of six. So to stick with the theme of candles, um, I picked up the Sand and Fog. It's an amber and fig um, essential oil candle. It's a two wick, it smells amazing. So I'm going to be adding this into the space. Um, it was $7.99 at HomeSense and I just love the fragrance of it. So we're definitely gonna work this into the space and also the color. I like that it's like this little frosted, uh, pearlized look. So I hope that I enjoy it. Um, the fragrance itself without even being burned smells amazing. So we're gonna um, light that up once we get everything decorated. And I shared in a short um, on Saturday. So when you're watching this video, if you're, if you're watching it on the release day, it would be the day before. I just shared a quick short because I absolutely love this find. So it is a three piece set. So this is the medium and this is a small box. They are from the same maker of the two set box that I've shared previously. And I needed to purchase a larger box to be able to do some organization in my bedroom. So I'm not gonna say too much about that. After you watch this video, check out the short and you will see exactly you know, why I needed to have the larger box. So we have two left and we are going to be using this on the console in the back. It offers so much space. I'm just gonna open up the small one so that you can see. This is a small one and you can fit so much inside of it. So. This is gonna be linked in the description. I'm gonna link this three-piece set and also the original two-piece set. It's always linked in my Amazon store and I know a bunch of you have already purchased the two-piece set, which is amazing. So I know that you're gonna be in the market for the three-piece set. So I'm going to take a image of all three of these um, stacked on each other so that you can see how large they are but I am going to be styling it with just two boxes on top of each other. And then the third one you'll see once you watch the short. Okay, so I just wanted to get down here and be able to show you guys. So this I showed in the previous styling video, but I haven't um, styled it in my home yet. So it's this beautiful like terracotta um, jug 
and it is absolutely beautiful. It's heavy. So I'm going to be using that on the ottoman. And then you've seen me with this metal sculpture. We've had it for over a year now. And I'm going to be working this into the space as well. I'm not sure if it's going to be on um, one of the end tables or if I'm going to put it on the console. But I'm still deciding. But I wanted to make sure I had a lot of options. And then we just have two pillows. Um, I use them as inserts. And I picked up two sort of like tribal um pillowcases. I'm not sure how I like them. Um, I picked up a blue option and then I also picked up like a burgundy option of the same print. I have to be honest, I'm not loving the material itself, but we're just going to see how they look once I put them inside of the inserts. And then finally, um, I shared this large tray basket um, in the styling video. I finally was able to find it. Um, at HomeSense, it was $39.99 and I absolutely love it. So that's gonna be on the ottoman and it's gonna look amazing. So that's everything that we have um, potentially to style in this space. So we're gonna get started. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of this space and then we're gonna clear it out and we're gonna get started with decorating. I wanted to show you all how the living room is looking now coming out of late winter and we're going to be venturing into early spring. We're gonna get started with taking down all of the curtains. We're going to be totally lightening up the space, getting rid of the dark black curtains that we've enjoyed over the last year. And we're gonna be bringing in a nice linen color, textured, long, beautiful curtains. So before we can put those up we have to just take down these beautiful black curtains and we're going to store them away I wanted to introduce myself again. My name is Daphne. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time by, I would welcome you to subscribe to the channel and join us back here for another video. We are a decor channel. We share makeovers, renovations, uh, shopping hauls. We have um, so much fun on this channel. So if this is your first time by, I do encourage you to subscribe. I have been uploading videos on Sundays. Um, now that I am back in the office working five days a week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this amazing spring makeover. So now that we have everything out of the room, we're just gonna switch over and do some quick cleaning. I have some dish soap and warm water. I have some glass cleaner, some wood for good. I have my vacuum and my Swifter. And we're just going to quickly speed through cleaning the space. And then we are gonna get decorating. If you are enjoying my video and you like my vibe, leave me a home emoji in the comment section. That will let me know that you like videos like this and I will continue to bring them to you. So thank you guys so much for watching.
Can you believe how large the inserts look in the original pillows? And just with that extra like two inches of edge decorations, it definitely makes a difference. So this is a 24 inch insert and I'm putting it into 22 inch pillow covers. And I love how plump and full they are but they definitely are much smaller looking than the original pillows. Um, but I think that they just really pop here on the sofa. I really like the color of them. They're like more of a wine, like burgundy color. And I just think it looks amazing with the, bra with the brown um, sectional. And also bringing in this very textural uh, throws I think that it just really pops and it's very cohesive and it looks really nice together so let me know down in the comments how you like the blending of colors and textures that I'm using today I just wanted to do a very simple um, arrangement here on the ottoman so I hope that you guys enjoy it and it, on the back uh, sofa console as I said I was going to use those two boxes and then we decided to put the two uh, sculptural uh, vases back here um, the black iron ones that I absolutely love we used to have them inside of the dining room but they've been living here um, over the past four months so I really like the way that it looks here inside of the living room it is time to put the curtains up and i absolutely love the way that they turned out so i just put all of the curtains up and then i'm gonna go in and steam all of them and i can not wait for you guys to see how they turned out
we're lighting the candles and then we're going to go into the reveal so i just want to thank you guys for joining me today i really do appreciate your support i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and share with someone that might like my content until next sunday have a blessed day If you enjoyed this video, then here's a couple of more videos that I'm sure you will enjoy. The playlist is going to be linked in the description so you can check them out. Thanks so much.